So welcome to Tiny Bytes. Today's topic is this. How can I copy and paste a list of email addresses so I can send a mass email over Gmail? I'm going to assume a couple of things, that you actually do use Gmail as your product for sending email, and that you have a working internet connection and a browser. This is actually my favorite way to deal with this. For instance, um, I teach adult RE a lot. I have committees. But for adult RE, let's pretend over in your tutorial for this stuff, I made an example list for fairy tale class and this is totally pretend, right? These are not real emails or when it's also not a real class, but let's pretend fairy tale class meets at 7 p.m. on second Tuesdays. And my co-teacher and I, we maintain a student roster with a list of the emails so that we can talk to the students and we keep it in our Google Doc and that way both teachers can get to it. But, you know, we take turns sending the reminder and it's my turn. What am I going to do? I'm going to go ahead and highlight all the emails and I can either use command C to do it or I can come over here to edit and copy. You see that? So it's copied onto my clipboard. Then I'm gonna go ahead and open my Gmail and my other tab. I had already started writing the reminder for fairy tale class. Up here in the two for where I would put the recipients, I can go and hit Command V for paste and boom, there it is. Snow White, Bashful, Doc, Dopey, Grumpy, all the dwarves. I can go ahead and tell the class what they need to bring for class or what their homework was. And then I can go ahead and send and that's it. If dump, uh, uh, Grumpy and Dopey decide to quit class, I would go to my document where I have the class list and then I could just delete them. Goodbye, Dopey, he dropped out. Goodbye, Grumpy, he dropped out. And that way, the next time we send a reminder, we just copy and paste the students who remain. This way, it keeps it lively, it keeps it active, and the changes are quick. I don't have to do all the changes that I would have to do in setting up a Google contact a label. But that is another way to do it. So check the other video so you can learn that way too. Thank you for watching Tiny Bites. I'll talk to you soon.